Time for a Raspberry Pi video. I went to the Raspberry Pi store in Cambridge, in Cambridgeshire, UK. And it was awesome. And whilst I was there, I picked up my one and only Pi that I don't have. And that was the Raspberry Pi Compute Module. It's the three, uh, let me get the official name. Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 Plus. So what I'm going to do is we've got the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, we've got the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 Plus, and we have the Raspberry Pi Model 3 A Plus. So let's do a quick comparison of the three boards. Which one's better? Pros and cons? All that sort of jazz? And yeah. Yeah. So in order of their release, we have got the Model 3B+, we've got the Model 3A+, and we've got the Compute Module 3+. So yeah, I've got a little table under here, but I'll, you know, I don't want to give you any spoilers or anything, so we're going to go through it bit by bit. So basically what we've got, uh, the same, we have, they both, they, all three of them run the Broadcom BCM2837B0 processor, which is a Cortex A53 ARM um, version 864-bit quad-core processor. A um, little bit different on the Compute Module 3, I'll come back to that. All three of them run the standard Raspbian operating system. So on the these two, obviously you probably know, they run on the micro SD cards. The Compute Module, not directly, it's a little bit more faffy to get it on there. Anyway, uh, so what else we got? So. Processor wise, they're the same processor, however, on the compute module, they've clocked it down to 1.2 gigahertz. So the model B and the model A both run at 1.4 gigahertz. That's because on the new versions, they've massively improved the thermalness so that it can dissipate heat better. They've not got a big enough PCB to get rid of that heat, so they had to go for the 1.2 gigahertz version of that quad core processor. Uh, what other differences have we got? So on the 3B Plus and the 3 Plus compute module both have one gigabyte of RAM. However, on the A Plus, for some reason, they only went with 512. Obviously, as you know, the these two run, they have um, SD card readers built into them. The compute module doesn't. However, on the compute module baseboard, there is an SD card slot on it. It does state on there though that SD cards are only for modules without onboard flash. That's because the compute module has an extra chip. So this one here is eMMC storage. So it actually has built in storage. This is the 32 gigabyte version and you can get it in 8, 16, 32 gigabyte variants of eMMC or they do what's called a light version that doesn't have any eMMC storage it just has the all the extra pins are broken out to take an SD card which you would have to if you were going to make a board for yourself you'd have to make sure you include that on there if you're not going to go with the eMMC version of the compute module or you have to use the one that's on here but that only works with the with the light version okay what's next we have GPIO so on the 3B Plus and the 3A Plus both use the standard 40 pin 0.1 inch pitch GPIO that everybody knows when it comes to the Raspberry Pi. Um, so if you wanted to see the pin out of that, go and search for it. I'll probably put a link for a really good one in the description below. But um, that's the standard pin out. Obviously on the compute module, on the little compute module as it is, this uses a 200 pin SODIMM connector. If you were to plug that into the I.O. board, you then get 120 GPIO pins broken out in the same 0.1 inch pitch that they use on the other two. Um, again, if you were going to make your own board, then you can put on as much as you want. But on here, they've broken them out to 120 GPIO pins. Obviously, that hugely increases what you've got available um, to connect to it and other bits of GPIO that you can interface with. Uh, what else we got? Network wise, so obviously the everyone knows about the 3B plus in the fact that it's got Ethernet, it's got onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Again on the 3A plus it's only got the 
Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module there with the funky little antenna which is built into the PCB much like on the 3B Plus. On the compute module it has nothing in its standalone thing. It would have been nice if they had put the Wi-Fi chip on there even if they had put the same Wi-Fi setup that they've done on the Zero where that goes straight into the processor. Um, you know there's no extra chip required for that. Even if they'd done that would have been nice just for the sake of interfacing but Nope, they went bare bones on the compute module, which is, I guess, what its point is. Um, on the I.O. board, you also don't have any networking interfaces. There's no Ethernet, there's no Wi-Fi on here. You have obviously got a USB port, so if you wanted to, you could put a Wi-Fi dongle into there. Like so. Like so! There we go. Uh, to give you Wi-Fi, or if you've got a USB to Ethernet, then you could use that. Obviously, you just load the drivers into Raspbian for whichever device you're using. Most Wi-Fi dongles are obviously the drivers included, so that's really good. Um, so, yeah, if you were going to make your own board, then I guess you could, if you wanted to, include uh, a USB adapter circuit into it to add Wi-Fi to there. You could add your own Ethernet. I believe the Ethernet on the 3B Plus actually connects to the USB bus on the processor. So that's how they get Ethernet on that board. Um, it's through the USB hub, which obviously controls the USB as well. But yeah, no networking on the compute module, which obviously makes it a little bit tricky when you're setting up and you want to install software and you want to do your app to get updates and all that sort of stuff. Uh, right, what else? We've got video-wise. Uh, Again, the 3B Plus and the 3A Plus have HDMI. I believe there is still video out on the headphone ports. Um, I can't remember if they kept that or not. I've got a feeling they might have done, but I can't remember. And both of them have the display D DSI, DCI. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, that's to connect to the official Raspberry Pi touchscreen. On the I.O. board, we have still got the HDMI port. We don't have the headphone port with the video out on it. But what we do have is two display connectors for the Raspberry Pi touchscreen. I'm going to see if I can get hold of the little adapters because these are the connectors, as you can see, are much smaller. They actually make little adapter boards which convert this. Is that the same connector that they use on the Zero? I believe it is. I think it's the same connector. Whether or not it's the same pinout, because I know they've got these little special adapter boards uh, which I don't have handy, sorry, uh, but um, but yeah, you can you should be able to drive two displays from one compute module. So check, subscribe. I'll do a video, see if I can get both displays working. Uh, right, what else we got? Cameras. So again, on the three B plus and the three A plus, we've got that camera port. On the I O board for the compute module, we again have two camera ports. That's really cool because if you wanted to do a project where you were looking at things like um, stereo vision, if you wanted to do 3D stuff, or if you were, say, making a dash cam and you wanted to have a camera that faced forward and a camera that faced backwards, maybe you're trying to make a 360 degree cam and you've got like a super wide angled lens on your cameras and you can actually get a full 180 degree sweep on both cameras, maybe a bit more. Um, I've actually got a lens somewhere in my camera stuff. In fact, it might just be here. Let me see if I can quickly grab it for you. Uh, where, is it, where is it? Here. So this lens that I've got here, let me bring it on this camera. Here we go. This lens that I've got here is actually, I believe, 222 degrees. So you can see that there's a, a Pi Zero in the back of there. You can see the lens sticks out from that chassis and it allows it to actually, I believe you can still actually see the edges of the chassis in the video when it comes out. Um, so if you had two of those back to back plugged into the compute module with both interfaces running, then you get a 360 degree camera. There you go. Easy peasy, with one Pi. I've seen it done before where they could do two Pis and they've got one Pi literally acting like a webcam and then they've got another Pi which acts as like a webcam and the host. Uh, just need one on this one, very cool. So yeah, big bonus for that if you wanted to have two displays, two cameras. Uh, so USB connectivity on the 3B Plus, this is the winner here. We've got four USB 2 ports. On the A, we've got one. And on the 
Compute module, you've only got one, and that's on the I.O. board. But, again, on the compute module, if you're going to make your own board, you get as many USB ports as you wanted. Um, oh, another thing, though, on the compute module, we have actually got USB slave, much like on the Zero. You've got on there, you've got a USB um, host, as in the power and USB coming in, and then you've also got a USB slave if you wanted to make a USB device from the Pi, you have got that option on the I.O. board if you wanted to. So that's another very nifty feature to have if you wanted to make USB devices with a Pi embedded. Uh, what else we got? Interfaces. Oh, so this is where I've just gone to town on interfaces. So here again, on the actual 40 pin connector, only 26 are available as GPIO. The rest are things like PAT for 5 volts for ground. Um, I can't remember all the pinouts. Um, so again, the same on the 3A+, Plus. that's only got 26 GPIO. However, on the compute module, out of those 120 pins that we had there, you've got 48 GPIO. So that allows you to connect to a lot more stuff. Uh, we've got uh, only one I squared C interface on the 3B and 3A. We've got two SBI buses, again, on those two and one UART interface on the two devices. However, on the compute module, we have got two I squared C interfaces. We've got two spy buses, much like the other two. We've got two SD interfaces. So whether or not that's to go to the SD card on the light version, or you want to have another one. Um, and then you've also got two UART connectors, uh, connections. So that allows you to, say, have uh, two devices that are running on the UART simultaneously connected. So pros. Obviously on the 3B Plus that is like the full whack version of the Pi and everybody knows the, the standard layout of those things. Uh, main benefit of those is the USB ports and that Ethernet port. The 3A Plus, the benefit of that Really, the pros is the size of it, a bit smaller. If you're making handheld things, it's quite nice. You can get it a lot thinner rather than having these big bulky connectors sat there. Um, it actually uses less power as well. Because the the 3B Plus has that Ethernet extra on it, that does actually consume quite a bit of power. Um, I believe that this board runs at an average of 1.2 amps, whereas the, 3, the A Plus runs at about 900 milliamps. And obviously the compute module, depending on what you put on it, I haven't done any power checks on that yet, but uh, I might be able to put an extra bit in the video for just the power things from the data sheet. Um, so yeah, lower power than that one, if you don't need Ethernet, that is, or the extra USB ports. Um, the pros of the compute module, you've got that massive amount of GPIO, massive help, two displays, two camera interfaces, and built-in eMMC storage. Fantastic. So... I might do a, another one where I do a comparison between the 3B Plus and the Module 3 Plus uh, and see which one works faster based on SD card versus eMMC. So stick around for that video, could be interesting. Um, the cons then of the 3B Plus is obviously the size of it, bigger than the other two, how much the power consumption is, like I said on the other one, but that's basically it because they are great compared to the other two. Um, the 3A Plus, obviously we've got half the RAM that we've got on the other two, not great, and there's that no Ethernet port. Um, the cons of the Module 3 Plus, I didn't include, I could have said, the cons are there's no network interfaces. However, because it's meant to be a compute module, I sort of said, well, you can add it quite easily. Um, I guess you could add Ethernet to the 3A Plus in the same way, so I'll give you that. Um, but really, it's that GPIO, not easy. If you want to use this in your final thing, then yes, you have got that option. However, if you've just got the compute module, then all you've got is that 200 pin SODIMM connector. So yeah, a little comparison video for you there, just in case you know, you've got a project coming up and you can decide whether or not the B plus was what you needed or the A plus would actually suffice for what you wanted it for. Obviously these ones are a little bit cheaper than the three plus if you're really trying to get it down to the minimum cost that you can get it down to. 
Um, however, if you're thinking a bit more industrial and you want to get like it as an actual product, then the compute module is a beauty for that, especially if you're going to be all very, very custom about how you implement these things. I know uh, NEC actually bought out a series of um, displays that you use for signage and they had an extra board which you could fit into the back of the display and then that would take the compute module so that would add this smart part of your display using a Raspberry Pi which was very cool so yeah thank you for watching this little video uh, if you liked it hit the like button below hit the subscribe if you want to see some more videos I might if I can get myself organized then I might start doing a Raspberry Pi Friday video if I can get up to weekly videos currently if you have a look at my old videos it's like every like month if that if I'm lucky so hopefully we can get a bit more organized and we can do some more fantastic Raspberry Pi videos so yeah like subscribe share it if, you're, if you've got somebody who um, is like which Pi do I buy send them this video it might help them um, so yeah I will see you in the next video Possibly pies, could be something else, who knows. Bye!